You're welcome back to Breakfast Central. Now let's talk about what exactly is happening with the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian University, SANU. Now despite appeals from the federal government, SANU and the Non-Academic Staff Union of Educational and Associated Institutions, NASU, yesterday embarked on a seven-day warning strike in most public universities across the Federation. Reports showed that the strike disrupted academic activists in or activities rather in Abuja, Enugu, Unijos, Ondo, Taraba, and others. Now let's inform you that the NLC, Nigeria's Labour Congress, has said that it is in support of the ongoing protest by the Non-Academic Staff Union of Educational and Associated Institutions of the Senior Staff Associations of Nigerian Universities. In a statement on Monday, the NLC president, Comrade Joe Ajayo, said there had been no credible reason or explanation for withholding those salaries in the first place. This morning, we're joined by Comrade Mokeji Uchena Sunday. He's the chairman, Sanu, Federal University of Technology, Uweri. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining, joining us. Talk to us about this strike that has now commenced yesterday, a uh, seven-day warning strike. What exactly is the cause of this, you know, this new strike? Because it seems that we have conversations about strikes every now and then, but in this situation, what exactly is the cause? Uh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I, if you, my name is Comrade Sir Uchenwekeji, Sanu Chairman, Federal University of Technology and the uh, Imo State. If you recall that the Sanu, Nasu, Nat, and Asu embarked on strike in 2022 that lasted about eight months and the salary of all the best four best union in the university was with the, the with all the salary they said no work no pay without payment now in 2023 when we suspended the strike on that 2022 the strike was not called off sanu did not call off the strike we only suspended the strike hoping that the, the federal government will keep to their promises now, what are the promises? Is to pay us our end allowance and also pay the retail salary to, to our members. But to create a surprise to Sano and Nas, and even now too, last month, or the early this month, as we well, are also uh, a union in the university, they were paid four months salary, and Sanu, Nasu, nothing was given to us. So our members are not happy in the university, and they said they cannot work. If we have four base unions in the university system, and the federal government decide to do divide and rule, because that is what we believe, is what they are doing now is divide and rule, to pay one union without considering what will be the outcome of other trade unions in the campus. So we met at our neck, and the, the neck passed motion that for one week, we should go for warning strike, and wish we all went back to our local branches and also conducted a conference, which the motion was ratified by 100% of almost all the federal university and state university that we should go and back on one strike to see and call attention of the masses and the federal government to know that what they, what they have just done is they are trying to destroy the system. So we are not happy because I think Sanu is not demanding for, for much we only asked them to pay us our salary, which we have worked. And uh, since 2022, we need the salary to be paid to our members. The same way they pay to ASU members, we want our salary to be paid so that every union will be in the same place in the system. Okay. Now, t tell us about um, the strike, you know, and how it is faring. You know, I, I see, or I rather, I saw videos from the University of Joss where it seems there was a little bit of chaos. The gates to the uh, university apparently were broken down on orders, you know, of high authorities there. I've also seen University of Abuja and a few other places where there seem to be compliance. Uh, uh, your members uh, actively 
um, you know, picketing and uh, uh, locking the gates of the university. So tell us about it, you know, and also in the southeast, um, how much compliance has there been with the strike amongst your members? And, you know, has this caused disruption across universities in the country? I, I, my brother, I want to tell you sincerely, tell you that Sano is a law and by the union. Before you should see any issues that come up in any of university, as you said, Uni George, Uni Abuja, I believe that the vice chancellor of that university they have tried to sabotage the strike. That was lead to some of those things you are seeing. In the southeast here, and let me use my school as an example. Federal University of Technology, Futo, we don't have any crisis because we know that the university, ASU, is not on strike and NAT is not on strike. Then we cannot stop ASU members going to their offices. So what we do is to talk to our members, which they comply. They comply. My, my school, at least 99% or 98%, they comply. And the first counselor, I have not interfered in our strike in Federal University of Technology. He gave us maximum support because he believed that we are fighting for our right and we are doing it in a peaceful way in my own school. Because uh, when you see they get being locked, fight, I, I don't think it's called for, for fight or violence. Maybe if you go deep to find out what happened in Juni George, maybe. The vice councillor tried to interfere and try to stop maybe members or force them to come to work, which is not right. If the, the, the particular unions say they are on one strike, you should be able to use the opportunity to talk to the federal government, uh, NUC, to see how they can settle the matter by paying us. Some of us are hoping that by now we'll start receiving the alert, even me, because I need the money too. So yeah, but it's um, I mean, I, I I'm not, you know, the story doesn't say that um, uh, there was any fracas or anything, or you know, or, or your members were being violent. I think it's it says that the University of Joss VC ordered security agents to break the school gate. It says that your members locked the gates to the school in the uh, University of Joss and in Abuja, and you know, I, I believe in other I, other places. Okay, I think. Yeah. Uh, I also, I also want you to speak on. Gates, yeah, I also want okay, you to speak on. The gate, can you hold on? The, can you hold on? I, I also want you to speak on your initial demands before you, you know, had four months' salary withheld. The initial demands that you made to the federal government have those even been honoured? No. They have not. Say no. Okay. Our demand, first and foremost, was like a 2009 agreement. Uh, we're supposed to have a new, um, uh, new agreement because the committee was set up. I don't think our committee was set up for more than five years or six years that nothing has come up. Not, they have not come into any conclusion till now. They keep changing the chairman of the committee because we believe that that is the delay tactics by the federal government. The few things they signed into agree with us, like a increment in salary, 25 to to seniors, junior one, and uh, 30 to ASU members, have not even been implemented now. After one year plus, going to two years. Okay, so let's talk about the steps going forward. This strike is scheduled to last for seven days, right? Uh, what next if the government doesn't intervene? Hello. Let's talk about what the next steps are. This warning strike is scheduled to last for seven days. Uh, the next, next step oh, is going to be, we're going to go to back to indefinite strike, which uh, we may not know how to end. That when we to end, if the federal government has refused or failed to do the needful by paying our members that we owe salary, I think if they pay the salary, we can go back and to the drawing board and start talking about other things that they have not yet implemented. But the first important thing is to pay our, our with our salary to our members first. All right. 
Um, thank you very much, Comrade Mokeji Uchenna, for joining us this morning and sharing with us your thoughts on this. Um, we do hope to see pleasant results. We hope that the government steps in and that this strike is called to an end as soon as possible. Uh, I don't know. Let's just believe that they, are, they, they will do the needful. Because mm -hmm. what we really believe that there are cabal in the presidency who are causing this problem. If the president have approved that you should pay the four best union their with their salary, I don't know why they will pay Asu and leave Sanu, Nasu and Nat. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for stopping by. We'll follow uh, the next couple of days and see if there's any changes um, that, that happen. And, of course, we'll bring you in to speak again. Thanks for your time once again.